If you're an amateur in front of the camera, as I clearly am, then you're going to fumble a little bit when someone gives you the keys to the most important civilian 4x4 in history. Look at the state of it! Right, I'm sure you're familiar with Top Gear. We're going there. It's where they have the test track. Or that, very close to it. They've also got the, the new Vela there, which is the real reason for going. You might have heard about it. It's the uh, iPhone of Land Rovers. The technology in this car is right up there, but it's the status of this car. Not only is it a Range Rover, it's a mid-sized Range Rover that's so incredibly pretty that it'll have Greenpeace going, ooh, we should have one of those. It's gonna get people that like to walk everywhere into driving. Just like the iPhone converted people into touch screens or push the smartphone, this will push the SUV. Everyone, every manufacturer, just like the Range Rover itself, is gonna go, how are we gonna make one of those? But Rogers would have bought this Range Rover. Love that. Exit the roundabout into the slip road. This vlogging thing, see, you do have to be in the frame of mind, and I don't know how people we do it all. Ooh. I know how they do it. I'm talking about getting that frame of mind to just want to go and tell a camera effectively every strange wow look at that quick point motorway yeah, cafe Starbucks Ugh, not as good as um being interrupted in the middle of a clock This has been a long day. Uh, 300 miles, it's not that far. It's just a lot of traffic. At the door now. stuff. Right, well you may have heard of this car. Nick trying to get some pictures there. That young man just there is Land Rover's go-to legendary photographer, Nick Dimbleby. Nick suffers from terminal niceness and all sorts of talent that foul photographers like myself can only wish for. This car is gonna sell like water. This is the all new 2017 Range Rover Vela, which can't get in the way too much right now because Nick's trying to take some glamour shots of the interior. We've already had a look in it and it's, in fact, I've got footage of that. We'll get closer in a minute, but because he's doing interior pics and what happens is we'll cast a shadow if we're too close or our head will be in it or something, something disastrous. I love this behind the scenes stuff, by the way. This stuff is the, where the magic happens. You see, it's one thing seeing a, a really glossy picture, isn't it, in a magazine. That's, that's all nice, isn't it? But that's an advert. This is more personal to see 
things not so manufactured. You get to see it with us, by the way. Oh yeah. We're very privileged to get this type of access because we're not employees. We're not, if we're employees, we can get away with this, believe me. We'd be uh, hung up and shot for a non-disclosure act or something. How much access are we allowed to this thing? Just, just, just you tell me the, the, the limits. Sorry? You tell me the limits of the access. I know we can't drive it. But. Can't, uh, uh, exterior photographs. Okay, basically. okay, not to worry. We have, I've got interior ones actually from in Conway, but. Yeah, because yeah. uh, we're not quite sure what the setup is. It's only been set up for static exterior. See, the nature of pre-production is things are set in various ways and basically the BIOS is updated for just this particular thing. So really, people like us, it's not a good idea we go near it because it might make it blow up or something. Right now it's very, very pre-production and alpha test, if you, if you will. So outside, fine. It looks proper though, doesn't it? I know it's new and some people don't take to that new, but you've got to admit, it's absolutely a distinguished machine, isn't it? Like all Range Rovers, nothing else looks like them. It was on or around this point where I realized that it was a no-go trying to make a program based on the new Vela at this stage. I mean, at this point, I'd already got close to it in Conway Land Rover in May, and this was early June. And because of all the, well, the pre-productionness of it all, it left a bit of a hole. I mean, I was there for the Vela and various other vehicles. This was tricky because Obviously I want to capture the new exciting ones. And if I can't get into the interior, can't drive it, but I can film the outside of it, and it didn't really drive anywhere. I'll actually show a tiny bit of footage. So after, there's nothing exciting I could do, so I found this other thing, and it went by the same name. Turns out it's quite a big deal. Turns out it's a very big deal. Charles Spencer King's ingenious groundbreaker was solely responsible for my acceptance of other Land Rovers that weren't a series model. I used to be somewhat of a Land Rover snob. I'd only ever look at or own series Land Rovers. Even the mighty Defender was a muggle to me. Although my family owned Range Rovers whilst I was growing up, it took me until I was in my early 20s before I could appreciate other Land Rovers. I guess the old rugged look and bounce appealed to me greatly as a child, rather like it does today. My first Range Rover was a 1990 39V8. It showed me that mudbloods are not to be ignored, for they are truly kings. I am so pleased. Range Rover Vela pre-production. Chassis number one. This is the very first, ladies and gents, the very first Range Rover in history. Pre-production prototype, chassis number one. Now, us Land Rover freaks, we know how special this car is. And you should all know too. This is, like I've said, that car is bigger. Yeah, it's yeah. Genesis. Genesis is the reason we are, everybody has four-wheel drives. The SUV was born right here, this very vehicle. This is right up there with uh, the Austin 7. It's one of the most important cars in history. Hear that? Oh, that's a V8 in all its loveliness. Now, I can't go too far away from the camera. What I can tell you about this is that I'm absolutely beaming now. It's because half of me wants to tell everybody about it. The other half wants to be quiet and just lap it up. Lap up this momentous moment for me because honestly, this... See, when I was younger, we had series Land Rovers. We had them coming out of our ears and, just, and even Defenders eventually. But to get a Range Rover something special, it still is. This is the 
sexiest 4x4 in history. Still is to this day. I'm going to be certified because I'm going to go on about this now to everybody and everyone forever. YouTube's not enough. I need to go on national telly. I'm going to hijack the airwaves and I'm just going to stick it everywhere and tell everybody that you should just try and get one of these or have a go at it. It's the pinnacle. I mean, I've got to get one. I'm going to swap my liver for one. I'm so made up. It's remarkable. And yet off-road, it was the best of the time. Nothing, nothing. I got anywhere near as good as this off-road. And a nice little play in the steering. Can you hear that? Just a little play, but you can let it go. It's car number one. I mean, that number one suits it as well. It's the most interesting one, really. I know you can get the others, like the Cuthbertson with the tracks on it and the Series 1, you know, Huey. But think about it. Think about where this, this car came from. Oh, I feel like a prat because there should be someone like, someone very, very experienced doing this. Like, uh, I don't know, Clarkson or James May, let's say. You should be driving the very first Range Rover. It's a gorgeous car. I've never felt so more privileged than I do now. And it's pretty. The only car in history to be displayed in the Louvre. It was considered, and still is considered, automotive art. No matter what anybody says, this is absolutely genesis. This is a whole new ballpark. Because it's 48 years old, 48 years old, and just, look at it, swinging, look at that. I feel, really I don't care what I look like in it I just feel great I feel so damn money that this car is also metal as well you know gangsters drove this you know the baddies didn't have a Lano they had a Range Rover kings queens had Range Rovers film stars have Range Rovers bodyguards the SAS have Range Rovers Jeremy Clarkson has a Range Rover this thing is all the Land Rover needed a, a price granted expensive to run doesn't matter can't fit anything in it doesn't matter problems doesn't matter it's a Range Rover meeting your heroes you shouldn't do it well that's not the case with this it's not the case with any Range Rover I could go on all day about the Range Rover but I'm going to have to stop here, otherwise I'll spoil my up-and-coming Range Rover feature. I will, however, add this. The 2017 Vela is a fitting tribute to what I think is the most important civilian 4x4 ever created. And don't forget, the best car is the one you love. The next part of my visit to Dunsfold will be available very soon.